Ingram and do the best they can from here on out. But we are going to be the first match of the day between Garpy and Kilson. And we're going to start off with the lovely Garpy's POV. He's going to start off on the heavy again on the keel. The pineapple rocket combo, extremely dangerous, especially if Kilson comes speeding around and just gets caught out. So Kilson has to be very worried about that. Garpy looking for this initial rail here. I think he just spotted out a piece of him. Just a little pinch, but no damage yet. Garpy playing slow, waiting for this next heavy. He might have done, but my game just crashed. So that was uh, very good. So just switching back to C. Now we notice that Garpy is going to be using that rail still waiting for him to go in for that heavy, but does pick it up, so nice advantage there for Garpy. But just looking at the so far, the Megas can become any second now, but Kilson will be able to grab that nicely. And just looking to back away, just biding his time, waiting for that a small advantage if he can grab it, misses that first rail, using those rockets to back him away, but that's a good return rail from him. Both of them almost an equal stack, but Garpy must have Pick up a little bit from that murder hole and is now trying to... Oh, that was a good rocket there, 71, and he's still taking a huge amount of damage on 24 HP. And then again, Kilson's also very weak regardless. Oh, and Kilson with a great rail as he grabs the heavy and jumps up onto the ledge. Catching Garpy out. Garpy thought he could get a little bit of free damage. Does get one unreturned rail off his respawn, but great job by Kilson. He's able to cycle the items, but he eats another rail. Luckily, still has the momentum to make it up the jump pad and get away. And he does indeed, so Kilson's going to be very happy about that, considering the circumstances he was on earlier. Still though, only 90 seconds have passed. Kilson with a very good LG on Garpy. Now extends his lead. Hits that first round on the spawn around the LG. And still though, does oh, almost manage to take him down, but Garpy's LG was just a little bit better there. And is only on 4 HP for him. Yeah, able to brute force his way onto that item, but at what cost? Very, very low. Has to grab these health bubbles. But put himself on the board, so not bad from Garpy to make sure that Kilson does pay the price here, but he jumps in with the shotgun. Here's the peeker play, dealt with nicely with those rockets, but Garpy's still a little bit on the back foot here. Needs to be careful. This next heavy's coming up in five, and he doesn't really have an angle to contest. Kilson's going to jump up on the campfire and take a big rocket there. Nice prediction from Garpy. Yeah, he's going to be happy about that, and he was expecting to go towards the LG for the portal, but realized that actually went the other way. It's just a 50-50 circumstance. The damage is coming from both players. Kilson is the one who cleans him up with the shoddy, and now Kilson will be picking up that Mega. He's going to try and get some map control going back up to top mid to have some kind of height advantage. He's now waiting for that heavy come up in the next five seconds, just trying to find out exactly where Garpy could be. And for him right now, it could be anywhere. Realizes that he's probably top mid holding an angle in case he does push on forward, but still just slowing the tempo a little bit here as now Kilson is massively stacked. He's got to be quite careful here. His golf is just trying to do as much damage as possible before he gets taken down, but that was a great peek of play from Kilson as he's just trying to regain his strength from that last engagement. And now Kilson's still trying to back away. Good LG, good rocket as well. Left on 44 HP and what a great frag again from Kilson. Yeah, unfortunate there from Garpy. The initial rocket on the ambush at the ledge did not land and everything kind of went badly and it's still going badly as he's trying to fight with the rockets and he converts off the rail. What a shot from Garpy making it happen, putting a stop to Kilson's reign of terror. Five to two, Garpy trying to slow the bleeding now, but Kilson still in position to attack on this Mega. There's the LG, almost throws him into the ravine, but Kilson takes position, takes the Mega and melts him down. That was lovely stuff there. As Kilson still haven't got a rail yet. So as long as Garpy contests this weapon throughout the well, not the entire course of the game, but you know, for the next few seconds whilst it's going for the heavy, that would be great. But it doesn't actually take him down in the end, but does burn that heavy. He's trying to again restack if possible onto the 90 HP. Just trying to find out where Garpy could have gone. So Mega has appeared and Garpy's waving to say hello to try and contest that if he can but sadly for him does get taken down once more Kilson having a very good start in this first map yeah super strong start here as Garpy's trying to protect the telly exit making sure Kilson pays the price here thinks twice and that's going to be a heavy for Garpy but he still has a lot of work ahead of him 430 in and he just cannot land the rocket pineapple combo that he's looking for no, he certainly can't indeed as both LGs are coming into play. Garpy will win that engagement. Kilson not too happy as you saw there. So now Kilson has dropped down for the light. Perfectly understandable. Just trying to 
get all the weapons back into his arsenal. We'll get the LG momentarily, but first, just going to keep Garpy at bay. Good rocket there, even though it didn't do a huge amount, it just showing his map presence saying, Garpy done a huge amount. Oh, he's only lived on one wow. HP. Wow. Oh, just as that happened, he missed out on the chance to burn the heavy before he was cleaned out. But Kilson, good LG to try and fly Garpy towards those rockets and Mega's come up in the next five seconds. So if he tries to survive this, he should be okay. 60 HP, will he be able to bay and try and pick it up here? Doing his best to keep Garpy at bay, which he does manage to in the end, but you see Garpy now does have to back off and try and drop down to see what he can do now. But you see now Kilson is still looking to constant, sorry, contest that heavy. And he's just been doing a great job just contesting all these items no matter what circumstance he's in. Garpy, aggressive, trying to get that heavy with the pineapples as well, but now he's left extremely weak after Kilson steals that and slides right on out of there. Position on the Mega and also just boxing Garpy out of that side of the map. So Garpy able to get back to 100 HP, but he's still just not in a position to really be seen right now. He just needs to get a rail and duck out, and he does. That's a good start there for Garpy. But he needs a little bit more. Big rocket jump from Kilson almost hits the midair. That would have been absolutely explosive. Certainly would have been indeed as Kilson with a huge stack and going to continue to push his advantages here, but took a lot of damage in the process. Only left on 18 HP, but does recover, so he's going to be okay for now. And so far, Kilson is going to drop down to that murder hole to see if he can at least regain his stack whilst contesting for that mega. He's expecting Garpy to go towards the LG when actually he's gone over oh, to the top. Does no. realize that and what a way to clean that last frag up. 10-4 now for Kilson. Still doing massive plays. It almost went off again there, 40, but it's going to be okay. And he's still going to see if he can finish with the LG, which he does. And just by the skin of his teeth, now he has 3 minutes and 15 left to work with, but with a 7 frag deficit, it's going to be pretty damn difficult here. It's going to be pretty damn difficult indeed, and Kilson using that mega well, but Garpy just has the stack and the pixel perfect shaft to take him out. Still down 6, 3 minutes left. It's going to take a little bit of a miracle, but that rail's going to be a little bit of what he needs. Needs to be careful somehow. Kilson able to maximize damage on his way out that should have been a cleaner frag in my opinion but garpy just paying the price every time and i think that is the key to kill some success here able to melt that stack do max damage even when he goes down and you saw that as well kills him just trying to go straight in for the trade oh, oh no there it is LG just made him drop down into the hole for the mega that was a little bit of a shame two and a half minutes left though garpy could definitely work with this if he really sees this from a methodical approach but still so wow. far, so, oh my goodness, Fat Rail definitely could be the difference maker here. And this is exactly what he wanted. Got a huge stack, even with the kill with the pineapples as well, with map superiority, he could definitely make this work if he wants to. But it depends on how he can trap Kilson and how he can try and pull onto his advantages. But looking to push on in, but still good damage there. Kilson's so weak, he must be on like 1 HP or something ridiculous. Garpy will be kicking himself, knowing that he almost took him down to try and help him out with this deficit, but still looking pretty good for Garpy. Looking good indeed. He needs to grab this heavy and then start pressing the issue. Down by four. Kilson highly mobile, still able to get good damage again before he goes down, and he's still going to stay alive, which is huge. Garpy needs to be able to close out this kill. Another great rail from Kilson through the telly. Can he actually finish this? Garpy with the jumping rail, he's going to miss as the prediction doesn't land, but Kilson has the position on the Mega. He doesn't even have to go for it, Lethal. He can just bait. There's the damage. Great rail, but the Mega saves Garpy's life. And again, Kilson is out of there, doing a good job of burning the rest of this time. Certainly is indeed, as he is going to try and continue to back away. Is that Ooh. the first rail? Did hit. Oh, my word. Not a nice rocket to complement that first rail as well. Great stuff here from Garpy. But any problem is though, he needs three frags in three minutes. Sorry, three minutes, sorry, one minute. And even now, like, Kilson can just continue to back away, use that mobility and speed to keep away from Garpy if he sees fit. But it's gonna be pretty damn difficult now for Garpy to try and continue such great progress and such great strides into trying to keep this game close. Yeah, I think at this point it might be too little too late. He's gonna use the jump pad to get up. Kilson's just going to play. Ooh, really nice rail from Garpy, but I feel like it's not what he wants in the end because he just gets denied with the rocket jump. Kilson maintaining high ground, 
making it just a nightmare for Garpy to even get close to try and get one more frag, but he's going to need at least three. And with the time ticking down, Lethal, I think Kilson has done it. It wasn't as clean as I thought, and it definitely wasn't on off the back of his rail. It was actually his LG doing 2,500 damage. So uh, big shouts to Kilson on a great game. Yeah, it's, it's, it's strange because, you know, physically from what we've seen so far, it, you know, didn't look as clean as we expected. But in some ways it did. It was just, you know, we saw a lot of flare from Garpy towards the end. I think it saw some light at the end of the tunnel and thought, oh, OK, you know, I've got a little bit of time here. I've got two minutes 15 to work. Out. That's plenty for a map like Deep and Race. It just depends on, you know, the contestant or some of the items. And you saw Kilson did a great job of that for like the first five or six minutes. Made sure he's always had that positional advantage in any way and making sure he gets to the heavy to contest it before he does. Because with the kill with the pineapples, yeah, it is difficult to try and keep him away. So he made sure to prep for that heavy and much earlier than Garpy. Yeah, I think it was the 8.15, 8.12 minute mark where Kilson got away with like 25 HP and Garpy just couldn't close out. And that, yeah. was kind of, that was kind of the one that ended it right there, letting Kelson get away with that. But yeah, as we take a look at the highlights, just really well played. Again, it was closer than I thought. I thought Kilson would rely on the rail more and just rip this thing wide open. But Garpy did a really good job of using that stack and, you know, doing... Uh, decent enough to keep it close but just that i feel like that last frag he let get away really uh really just toasted him in the end yeah even though statistically garpy is pretty good on deep embrace i didn't expect the game to be this close i thought kilson would you know walk over garpy at a certain point in the game once he gets a heavy stack and you know starts to get a little bit carried away I and mean, garpy may be able to claw back just a little bit but not this close though like 12 9 you can see there from the damage 600 damage Difference in comparison, but the even the realm damage is almost uh, very similar. Kills it though, twenty four hundred and forty two LG damage, and it was on fifty percent as well. Even against a kill, that's still pretty high. Yeah, absolutely nuts. And again, the rail damage, not that much. We didn't really see a lot of rail from Kilson, which for me is surprising, but it shows how versatile he could be as a player and just, you know, whatever uh, he feels he's on with, he will use and absolutely obliterate his opponent. Absolutely, as we will be going to the second map moments, Harley. It's going to be exciting to see how things will change up this time round. I believe it was on Corrupt to Keep. Yep. Just trying to remember from the top of my head. And then we've got the third map, which will be on Exile. So, it's like I said before, it's maps for. Garpy is quite keen on, probably not his favorites, but he is keen to play these three compared to, like, you know, the Ruins, the Moen, etc. But yeah, you've got to remember it's the fact that you're playing against someone like Kilson. He doesn't mind his maps either. I'm telling you that now. And, you know, we normally have statistically, again, he's been pretty good on Ruins, Molten, and one of the other smaller maps as well. But it's like I said before, um, for Kilson, he normally just bans Veil every single time. When you see Kilson, you will not see Veil played at all in the slices. And normally trying to be something else. And yeah, I think for you, probably have still noticed that I've taken your classes. But I think I, you'll I be I need right, you mate. to you'll read survive. the predictions for me. I, I can't do it, Lethal. I need, I need your <laughs> I eyes. Like, you're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm Don't just, worry. Uh, I'll uh, have a look for you. I'll uh, have a look for you. So in terms of predictions so far, you know, I think you're going to be a little bit surprised. Actually, no, you might be. 88% Kilson, 12% for Garpy, but I was going to try and let you struggle a little bit more, but I've kind of felt a little bit bad. <laughs> I so know I how much you love I'll, it when I struggle. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll actually tell you anyway. Yeah, uh, firmly in place of Kilson. Uh, and I feel like the Ranger does have kind of the the advantage here. Uh, if Garpy can get those totems going great, I feel like Kilson just is going to be able to suss those out immediately and make sure that that economy doesn't get started. So I feel like the Dire Orb is going to just be an absolute pest and a big burst of damage and put Kilson over the top on this one. But who cares what I think, Lethal? Let's get into it. We're live on map number two, <laughs> starting off on Garpy yet again here. He's got that Galena mega pickup and just a little bit of damage from the plasma. Yeah, no BJ on Corrupt to keep either. I think uh, Garpy did ban that during the ban phase, so perfectly understandable. We're going to see how well Garpy does with the Galena, which does mean that Kilson does need to stay on his toes and keeping his map presence the entire time. Garpy, with a slight edge in terms of stack, is trying to gain some kind of positional advantage, but that rocket is definitely not going to help him in <laughs> by any means, as he's still trying to find some weapons in his arsenal. Does manage to get that rocket. It did take him a while, took him a little bit of time, but finally got there in the end. He's just literally listening out for those audio cues, the steps to see where he's going to flank from, and he's just predicting these rockets. Oh, oh my brilliant. God, Garpy! Fantastic from Garpy, one HP for me. Oh, God. Frag movie! <laughs> That was incredible. Those are the rockets that we know that Garpy can pull off. One HP, what a clutch. But now can he maintain position on the Mega? He does. Takes a little bit of damage, but is able to 
Ooh, hit another oh. hundo into shotgun. Kilson's still alive somehow, but he should get melted down right before he picks up the armor as well. As well. And Garpy might be going on a tear here, Lethal. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe the Dire War but doesn't matter at all. So they've quite a few times. He's heavily dependent on those rockets, but normally for defensive purposes. It looks like it's going to be slightly different here. 17 HP. He's trying to back away, back away to the Red Room to pick up those two health bubbles. Not going for the light. Maybe it's already been picked up earlier on, but... Kilson just standing his ground with the MG, just making sure to find out exactly what's going to be occurring here. But so far, so good. As Garpy now, we're going to figure out what he's going to be up to, dropping down towards the heavy. We'll be coming up in the next second. But the items are very, very heavily segregated here. So still got plenty of time to try and contest that Mega as well. Good burst of machine gun damage there. Garpy sitting on two totems. We'll have his third for overstack shortly. Doesn't really look to be making a play for the Mega, just wants to keep his space and play towards the heavy side of the map. And now that he has the overstack, it makes perfect sense to do so. Yeah, it certainly does indeed. I think that was a 28 or 29 HP from that last rocket, but you can see that Garpy's going oh. straight in. Tried it all back, almost went out the map, and this is literally just a rocket show here. Some of the minute rockets we've seen have just been phenomenal. And Kilson just like, well, you think your rockets are good? Mine are, you know, aren't too bad either, apart from that last one, which went straight through to the red room, sadly, for him. But he's managed to regain his strength once more. Still, you know, got the overstack if he needs to use it, which he is going to be using nonetheless which is perfectly understandable doesn't need really to contest the mega so i think garp is going to be feeling that he needs to try and do something here as he's taken a lot of damage and kilson was actually pretty weak he's not going to be too happy about that but it doesn't matter as garp he does get another frag on the board and he's now up full one and garpy is playing this so well he's using that overstack he's completely destroying everything i thought would happen Using the overstack, playing towards the heavy side of the map. He's pressuring the Mega, but knows he doesn't have to commit for it. And he's doing really, really well. Now, Kilson does grab a free Mega, and since uh, Garpy needed to grab an LG, he might have an opportunity to clear out some totems and get in on this next heavy, but Garpy's here to at least deal some damage or at least pick up the timing. So, Garpy's still doing really well, and I'm surprised that Kilson just has not taken out any of these totems yet. Maybe Garpy's just been trying to keep him at bay, just keep him around the wow, red room, the work. mega room, and you know the rockets. Just trying to make sure that he's got that map presence there, just to you know indicate that those totems are going to be there. But yeah, you are right though. You know, for how small this map is, it's a little bit of a surprise. But he must be realizing surely, like you know, where are these totems coming from? Why has he got such a huge stack every time we've had to fight in you know somehow, some way with every single engagement? But we can see now with Kilson, what he's going to be up to next. And Garpy's just directly underneath him here. We'll have the orb in his back pocket to use if necessary. He's going to realize he's directly underneath. Good first rocket, good second wow. rocket, and a great orb to follow through straight after. That was a great frag there from Kilson. That was absolutely incredible. But still, he's not using this downtime to try and get any of the totems down. And I guess at this point, if Kilson can keep racking up the frags, it doesn't even matter. He's like, keep your overstack. I'll, I'll give you I'll give you that. I'm still going to take the lead potentially here. As he is still down one, but he's cycling the items. He has better position, and Garpy, again, on the low ground, has to try and fight for this Mega from an awkward position. <laughs> you can keep your totems. <laughs> it's fine. As he's going to go towards bottom mid, up the rocket jump pads. Let some more weapons in his arsenal. That heavy machine gun, though, it can do some serious, serious work on this map. And especially if he plays the range game, it's keeping him back, making sure he picks up that heavy. But Kielsen, though, looking much better over the last couple of minutes from what we've seen previously at the start of this game. But it's finding your totem here and there, so he's probably making the assumption that he's doing great work. But it's still got those totems from Banana leading up towards the rockets. So... You know, will he be able to deal with that? I think he, oh, I thought he might have actually just saw one of them then, but he hasn't, but he has found another one near the Mega anyway, so that will pay its dues. Still only halfway, you know, on this map, and we're going to have to see what Kilson can do to continue this response from Garpy. Yeah, and Garpy, it looks like he's just been shut out of the map for the last two, three minutes here. Kilson smells blood, a little bit of LG damage. Garpy does have a totem to fall back on, but the overstack is gone, as Kilson is doing a little bit better at taking out these totems now. And it's also because Garpy's fortress is kind of, you know, taken over. He can't really just stack him on the banana side and play for the heavy anymore because Kilson has had the cycle. Now Garpy has to play a lot more careful. Big rockets into the orb and Garpy takes out Garpy. That's going to be a tie ball game at three now. 
yeah, when you get the cycle of items on the map like Corrupt to Keep, it's so difficult to kind of retaliate in some way. And you've just got to get some, wow. you know, the only way you can is, you may have to take a couple of deaths here and there, but your whole point of this, you know, the main goal is to do a huge chunk of damage. So you can either go for the trade or just reset things and be able to contest the items better. And great old rockets all there. You can see Garpy just pretending to portal free. We'll use that totem to wow. pick up that 50. But yeah, good response there from Garpy as he manages to get away considering the position he was in. He's left on 71 HP. Still trying to back away as Kielsen does pick up the heavy, does clean up Garpy, and it will be picking up the Mega possibly in the next 10 seconds as well as cleaning up that totem. Garpy trying to fight for this next Mega. It could be a big one. Here's the rockets raining down from Kielsen. Oh. Can't really land the mark and Garpy takes out Garpy. The plasma, it's hot, 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 hot. Can't get close to the wall with that, Garpy, please. Six to two, and just what a turn of events. Incredibly unfortunate for Garpy here as the machine gun decimates him. 39 HP, the rockets around the corner, bending it like Beckham kills him. Just doing an amazing job. After a rough start, admittedly, he is now back on top. Yeah, it feels like Garpy never had the lead in the first place. He was doing so well, like, you know, good rocket control and good projectiles as well. Everything was just working in his favor, but as soon as Kill some smelt blood, and then now I've got the, you know, contesting every single item with a heavy stack every single time. It's just been a serious work for Garpy. He's not been able to do a huge chunk of damage to try and even the stacks out to then contest some of the items afterwards. It's, you know, he's doing his absolute best to, you know, make something work, but he's just starting to run out of ideas here. He's got two minutes 15 left, an eight frag deficit. It's going to be tough. Might be able to get to one at least. So 210 left, seven frags. And if you're a Garpy fan, you want to believe. You want to believe right now. There's a little bit of a tickle there, but Garpy's going to need a lot more work. Kilson shotgun into orb. Up close and personal. The rockets don't bail Garpy out this time. Kilson not afraid to play super aggressive right now, especially with that orb. And I think this one is uh, this one's done. That's a good frag from Garpy into the heavy, but I just seven frags in less than two minutes is just too much. It's too much lethal. I'm going to say it certainly is almost mathematically impossible unless he does some miracle work but yeah against someone like Kilson, that's just not gonna happen it doesn't matter who you are here it's Garpido just playing the range game with the heavy machine gun using the rockets as well to see if he can get some nice damage but still keeping him at bay he realizes that you know a minute 20 left it's gonna be very very difficult from here on out but does take down Kielsen but then again it's just a full on trade and look at the spawn Kielsen got a super shy heavy he'll be okay he'll be happy with that yeah and it's just brutal because Garpy had such a good start and it happened again where it all went horribly wrong near like the six seven minute mark and the scoreline just absolutely lopsided now yeah it certainly has indeed Kielsen still trying to take down all these totems left over from earlier on Realizes Garpy is going to portal through, does back away as Garpy's dropping down to see if he can get any damage done. Sadly, he does not. Yeah, and I feel sorry for Garpy a little bit. You know, he had a fantastic style. Everything, you know, all the pieces were, you know, coming together and someone just literally just broke it apart. Just like that. It was just a real, real shame as Kilson now just doing what he normally does best. Just as soon as he gets a little bit of a lead, he likes to extend it the best he can to make himself or it makes his opponent feel like there's absolutely no way or no chance in hell that he'll actually be able to try and come back from this deficit, which he's proving once again. So 55, 10 seconds left. He's looking to orb up and away. That's a beautiful orb from the heavy to get that and the 50 as well. And a couple of seconds left. That's going to be done and dusted. That is the second map over. And it will be in Kilson's favor once again with that lovely Ranger skin. Yeah, I can't tell if it's low polygons or if it's just my eyes, but <laughs> yeah, big shouts to Kilson. I mean, Garpy had a great start, right? He built up that kind of fortress you want with Galena, played towards the heavy side of the map, only pressured Mega when he thought it was safe. And then Kilson just kicked down his sandcastle and said, you know what, this is all mine. And it took him about four minutes, but once he broke that, you could tell that it was just over for Garpy. It was unfortunate. He couldn't really regain his footing again. And he did put up some amazing rocket frags, though. That's going to be in the highlight reel for Garpy for sure. But at the end of the day, the highlights didn't bail him out, and Kilson just played better. Yeah, if that's not in the highlights, I'm just going to be... You know, I'm just going to be sad, but with the sandcastle analogy, which you just mentioned, that's literally picture perfect of how you could explain how this match went. The fact that Garpy was up 4-1, had everything he required, and then Kilson, as soon as he had, you know, even 
you know, the smallest of stacks advantage to take advantage of, that was pretty much it, said and done there. All the items were heavily segregated. There's the only problem for Garpy, he just needs to try and find, you know, just that one engagement, that one bounce where if he does heavy damage, then he can try and even things out and contest the items better. But he just couldn't really do that at all, which is a little bit of a shame. Just looking at the damage as well, you know, just over 1,100 damage more for Kilson. And looking at the LG, you saw that he did a better LG percentage, but didn't really shoot as much compared to Kilson did. Yeah, and looking at the items, I mean, you think, oh, wow, Kilson got a ton more megas. And that's fine. That was by design at first. Again, Garpy had the overstack playing towards the heavy side of the map. But then once Kilson just got both items on lock, it is just, it was game over for Garpy. Even the, the brilliant rockets we saw before couldn't bail him out. And Kilson just went on a tear, especially with the spawn fragging on CK. So yeah, once he once he broke that defense, it was just it's hard to get back into it and kind of reestablish yourself as a Galena. But really well played to Kilson to know that you know it's not over in the first couple minutes, and he was able to break that defense and get back into it, and then just kind of spiral out of control, and now potentially looking at a three zero lethal. Yeah, I think Kilson, one of the biggest reads he made was the fact that the items were about 15 seconds apart from each other after the first few minutes, and he's probably sitting there scratching in thinking, well. Garpy's not even trying to contest the mega. What's up? And now it's probably clocked on and thought, right, okay, there's lots of areas in the map I need to try and investigate like a detective to see if he can find any more of those tournaments. He did, he found some, and that's when things went downhill from there, you know, just relying on that overstack most of the time. It was understandable because Garpy did take a lot of damage previously, and that's why he couldn't go to the mega uh, half the time as in the half as much as he would like to. But we're going to go to Exile now to see if Kilson will end this series in a 3 0 sweep or if Garpy will get at least that one map on the board for himself. Well, if he could do it, it might be from the sultry sounds of Sorbets. We're starting off on Garpy again, and it's going to be Exile, map number three in this set. Kilson already taken the series, but again, maps matter. Got to put a little money in your pocket, Lethal. We'll see if Garpy can do it on this one. Yeah, I hope so for his sake, considering his table placement in the Pro League needs as much as he can give. And look at this matchup as well, you know, even for the Sornag versus the Anarchy, he can easily just trade a lot of his frags off if he needs to, to uh, considering the default stats you start with. He went straight in for that heavy, he's only on 19 HP, uses that inject to back away. Good movement there from Kilson to collect that light as well as the rail. Hasn't really got much LG ammo to work with it. He is going to pick it up anyway. Just looking to see what he can find, but hasn't really got much choice as to where Garpy could be, but oh, that first rocket was brilliant through the portal from Garpy. Now he's just trying to see if he can do extra damage with that tripod, and he does not just a tickle, but a huge amount there. Kills him really weak. Can't really contest for much. Just flying around the map, trying to grab as many vials as he can so he can get that inject back. Grabs a 50 shard as well, so looking a little better, but still needs to be so careful of Sorbet. Look at that thick, thick stack. You've got to love it. Garpy's had, you know, second time in a row, he's going to have a very, very good start. Let's see how consistent he is this time around. There's a good LG from Kilson and still looking to continue on piling that pressure, but has to back away. He realizes that, yeah, this is pretty much it. I need to try and restack, but that heavy is definitely going to help him restack here for we. It's still, though, Kilson's still up with that 1 0 lead after the first two minutes, but Garpy, sadly for him, couldn't do much with that stack. Yeah, Kilson's doing a really good job of making sure he doesn't get caught out. Doesn't want to get too close to the dinosaur. Might get bit. These rails not landing, unfortunately, for Kilson. Does hit one early on, but lacking a little bit in the rail department. There's a little bit of LG as Garpy tries to aggress through the doorway and just has to back off, just taking way too much damage. Kilson doing a really, really good job of keeping the output high, but this is not what he wants. Up close, maybe the shotgun will do it. He's ticking down, though. Needs to be careful. Garpy, very, very weak. That so dangerous to push into a Sorlag like that, but the shotgun might be able to chunk it. The LG is going to be the weapon of choice for that second frag, though. I think Kilson's going to feel like that was one of the worst engagements or one of the worst ways to push on in, you know, missing that first shotgun shot literally on top of his head. You name it, just everything went downhill, and he still got away, considering. So that was uh, pretty formidable, to say the least. And what a rail flick there, but Garby's like, okay, right, you know, you've had your play time. Let's try and at least get that first frag on the board. Three minutes have already passed. Looking to pick up that light down below. 
as well as Derail. So Kilson looking to see if he can... This is the problem you see for Garpy. He needs to make sure he can test this rail as much as possible because Kilson is looking to see if he can get his first couple of rails onto Garpy before he makes that initial engagement. And if he contests this better after he kills Kilson, then, you know, it could definitely change the scoreline for him. And every time Kilson makes the jump through the pillars, through the telly, I just clinch. I just did... <laughs> every time it looks like he might not make it. And Garpy dropping down, trying to get big damage, but Kilson evades yet again. Still very, very weak, but inject up shortly. Maintaining this two frag lead, at least for a little bit longer here. It's good damage, just hitting and running. Kilson doing what he needs to do. Yeah, just doing his job, just being a real pain in the backside and only going to negotiate with Garpy until he actually uh, has a full-on advantage, which is perfectly understandable. He was a little bit worried then. You saw Vase almost slipped up. He didn't want to be another sink error casualty, as now he's going to be not looking to drop down, but seeing if he'll portal through up to the top, which he's just realized. So now he has gone back up to the top, waiting for this next heavy to respawn. No, the only problem is not for another 15 seconds. Mega's come up in the next five. Garp is wow. already in position. Good first rail. Was looking for the second. Didn't get it, but at least he's done a little bit of damage to keep him at bay, though. But shouldn't really take this fight, but surely he's not going to win this. He almost did, considering the, the, uh, the stack Garp he had. Really close to that flick rail. We saw one earlier where it looked like a pixel rail around the pillar here, but now Garpy coming in hot. A lot of machine gun damage. Kilson again doing a really good job of spacing. Playing footsies in Quake. I don't know if that's a thing, but it looks like <laughs> it is now. As again, the machine gun from around the corner. Inject for a little bit of insurance. Garpy has to try and max damage, and he can't. He'll go down right before the Mega. Yeah, he abused that map geometry there so well. Just find that one single pillar just diving here and there, just dipping and diving, making sure that he can just be as much for pain in the backside as possible. Maybe even take him down. He wasn't really too far off here. It was Kilson just looking to back away as his acid is doing so much oh, damage. And Garpy just going to take full on advantage of that. Still only one frag behind. He said, the nice little comeback so far as Garpy just contesting those rockets, just keeping him at bay around the heavy. Has picked up another mecha for himself. Heavy's coming out in the next few seconds. Just double checking to make sure that Kilson is going to contest this. And you saw from Garpy's face, like, all right, okay, I'll, uh, I'll have that for free, no problem. But of course, Kil sorry, Kilson's not going to attack him into the heavy because he hasn't got the stack to work with here. But speaking of stack, so let's look at the difference here as Garpy's pretty much laughing right now. Still got just over four minutes left on the clock. Good rocket, good LG there, just being a real pain in the backside for Kilson. Kilson had dropped all the way down. Good read there from Garpy. Doesn't hit that rocket, but still keeping control of his items. Can he make this a giant stack work for him and get this frag to tie it up? Rail opportunity here. Gonna switch to rockets. Not so bad into LG, but Kilson again hitting two great ones. Almost a third, oh, but Sink no. takes his soul. Oh no. To be fair, he did take a fair amount of damage anyway, but if he hit that rail, because I'm pretty sure Garpy was railable at the time. Oh, and the trade comes out as well. I'm sure Kilson was a little bit worried again <laughs> as he was dropping down from the Mega. And now Kilson with the Rockets does have the height advantage, but good LG from Garpy, keeping this game really close. And Kilson still pretty weak here, needs to try and back away if he can. If he backs away, goes up for the light. If he can get away with it, then he should be okay. And it looks like he would be fine so far. Does have the inject as well if he does need to use it when required. But so far, so good. Garpy with a pretty large stack. And you've got to remember, Kilson still has that inject like I've already mentioned. So three minutes left and still pretty close. It's pretty hard to these, tell these two apart as he's still looking to back away. Kilson so weak and Garpy just being very cautious. Not really, you know, overextended or anything like that. Just making sure if it is going to be a frag to his name, it's going to be a clean one. Oh, but this isn't clean at all, Lethal. This is so oh, much no. damage, and the shotgun finally pays off with 5 HP. Kilson just made it rain damage. He certainly did indeed, and you see that Kilson was looking for that trained frag. He knew how weak he was. He His LG was just so good coming out from that portal early on. Now, God, he's on now 12 HP. Somehow gets away with it. A little bit too late for... The kills a little bit of a shame, but it's still going to put the pressure on. Good rocket there from Garpy. Won't be able to do anything more, though. Just trying to get as much damage done 
before he gets taken down he knew that at some stage he was going to get cleaned up but at least he burnt the mega as well and i was a little bit worried for kills in the game but he's going to be okay now he's got an okay stack to and also positional advantage to push for this heavy garp has kind of had enough he's trying to push on up but he's gonna be flying ever so slightly with the lg and now Kilson just waiting for him on the spawn. Yeah, Garpy forced his hand there, didn't really have a choice, and Kilson just made it look easy there. No big shotgun damage for him, and now he takes control of the Mega. Big split between the items, has the frag advantage. This might be curtains for Garpy here. A little bit of the spit actually connects. That's going to be quite painful for Kilson as he's waiting on this health bubble. Garpy knows exactly where he is, takes position on the heavy, has to rain down rockets. It's going to continue on with that, but you can see Kilson shaking his head, knowing that he has to give up the heavy. Oh, that was a good rocket to keep Garpy away just for the wow, there. Rail. And these rails are just ridiculous. He's going to be pushing on in, finishes him with the shotgun, uses the inject straight away in case Garpy does get a decent spawn and push straight through onto Kilson. But he's up by two frags. Still got a minute left, so Garpy wow. takes a little bit of time, but oh, these rockets have been ridiculous from Kilson. That was just pretty. A little bit of spit now, and Kilson is going to be able to negate that immediately. Three frag lead, and I think lethal this one. This one is it. Oh my god, no! Why would you do it? Why? Why would you do it? Sink. Oh, he takes another soul, and it happens to be Kilson again. <laughs> Oh, dear me. Was that twice now? Two casualties now? So, I don't you know. understand. <laughs> he didn't Kilson kick flip up. high enough, Lethal. He didn't kick flip high enough. I oh, know. How dare he? As he now picks up the heavy, he's going to try and chime away if he can. Just trying to sneak away slowly. He's, he's got 15 seconds left. He's going to be okay. He's going to be just fine. Heavy stack. Got the weapons he needs to keep Garpy away if things get a little bit out of control. And he's just going to be flying high knowing that is going to take this series 3 to 0, help him a little bit further on that leaderboard. Commiserations to Garpy. Almost got a map there. And it's actually in uh, on two of the maps he came pretty close. But, you know, just one of those things, Sandy, for Garpy. But Garpy did play pretty well, but kills him just that little bit better. Just some, you know, extra spark. Yeah. I mean, barring that last jump we saw, yeah, he played better. It was great. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that was, but uh, hats off to Kilson. He completed the trifecta. He got the 3 0. But Garpy, as you said, played well, had some incredible rockets, but just the. Just not enough, not enough to overtake the two-time champ. And uh, it's, you know, it's a tall order. Kilson is looking more and more on form, more dangerous, and I think that's exactly where, on, where he wants to be because he did not like the way the last stage finals went for him, and he's probably out for blood, I would imagine. Oh, definitely. Like, for a player of his caliber and skill, he would be livid. Like, that placement, he was not happy in the slightest. And, you know, he's the sort of player where he will not be happy until... Well, of course, every player wants to win in the Pro League. But as long as he gets at least top three or top four, then, you know, he's not happy with his performance at all in the slightest. But we'll see now because, you know, this is his kind of way to, you know, take out his anger on some of his opponents in the Pro League. But not only that, to try and rectify some of the very small but minor mistakes which caused such a huge impact back in those finals and we have to see now because Kilson is looking very hot especially in recent form and you know hitting his peak performance and his strides and yeah that was okay not the stride he was looking for but <laughs> a nice way to um finish that last map but you can see from the damage as well 1,303 more damage for Kilson. Definitely showed, especially with Vela, the map presence he had during the last few minutes. And just looking at the damage counter so far, a lot of that was with the LG again. And you see from the rails as well, barely, he only hit one rail, I'm assuming, for Garpy. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But if you take a look at the items, Garpy had the item control, but Kilson was able to make it work with pretty much stacking just lights and using that inject over and over again. So really well done from Kilson. Garpy just let that one slip out. That could have been the map for him, but Kilson just too strong in the end. And, you know, it was close. It wasn't easy by any stretch, but Kilson is starting to stack the victories and, again, getting more and more dangerous moving forward. And that's kind of where we want to see Kilson. That's where he wants to be, again, recovering. I don't know if he's still fully recovered or not, but he's looking so much better and on form. So it's going to be exciting to see him in the weeks to come.
Yeah, he's looking fabulous right now. There's, I think he's going to be a lot happier, but the only thing he's going to be worried about is leading up to the state finals because you know everyone puts in double the hours two weeks prior because once the project's over, that's the time to put some serious practice in. And that's where he's going to be a little bit worried because some people's styles change, some of their tempos change. There's a lot of changes like just overall from a lot of the players, like, you know, even from the Americas, players like Dramas, like, you know, it's literally a night and day performance which he makes at finals compared to what he does normally in the pro league. So, you know, he just wants to be extra cautious and try and rectify everything before it gets those final but still plenty of time there's still a couple months still plenty of time still plenty of games coming up today we're gonna take a quick break let you uh chat go nurse that hangover that you have i'm gonna try and find my glasses <laughs> we'll get back together in i don't know five I'll ten minutes we'll, we'll see you soon yeah exactly i might have to steal yours harry but stay tuned we got a lot more quake coming up don't go anywhere we will be back shortly